I want to be remembered as the guy who utilized baseball and softball as a platform to reach multitudes of kids. That is the vision. That's what it's all about. Mike just grew his vision during his baseball career at Liberty University. Following college, Mike briefly played in the Houston Astros organization, then had much success throughout the independent leagues. When his playing days were over, Mike decided to pass his knowledge to other young players. There's a ton of kids out there who have talent, who have ability with no direction. They just are going through the system, no one's guiding them, there's no manual out there. Anyone that's gonna write that has to be someone that's been through it, who knows it, who's been at all the levels to understand it. So I figured, I gotta do this. Wow, hey, better. Baseball and softball, it's a great thing, but for a lot of these kids, it's gonna end in high school. Some are gonna play on, most are not, according to statistics. So we have a short amount of time, a small window, to impact these kids' lives for good. Mike knows what young players often encounter in the world of competitive baseball, so he was determined to use his influence to make some positive changes. I saw the whole, you know, hey, oh, good job, okay, great, good job, give me your money, see you later. I was just so used to seeing that as the norm in the industry and the sexually explicit comments and the uh, profanity, and it's just, why is that the norm? It doesn't have to be, right? So we wanted to kind of reinvent that and do something special. <laughs> awesome. Mike enlisted the help of former Liberty teammates Chad Miller and Ryan Page, and his plan soon became concrete. Just Hits was established in northern New Jersey and provided a training facility for baseball and softball players to learn how to strengthen their game. They came out here and they relocated for the opportunity and we really built it into an 11,400 square foot facility that it is today, where we see 2,000 clients on a regular basis, which is Awesome, yeah. But it's more than about hitting. The instructors teach the importance of strengthening the mind and the heart of each player so they can achieve their peak performance. The parents can talk to these kids till they're blue in the face, but the reality is someone who played professional baseball is on a pedestal. Unfortunately, there's a lot of guys on that pedestal who don't use it for good. I wanted to make sure that this company exemplified biblical principles, so when a kid is struggling with something or he's not sure, we're gonna call him out and say, hey, what's going on? And he's gonna be comfortable enough to communicate that back and share that with us and say, hey, this is what's up. Mike also developed a Bible study using some of the lessons he learned while at Liberty. And it wouldn't take long for that Bible study to grow into a vacation baseball Bible camp. This is like, okay, apologetics scaled down to try to have an eight-year-old understand what is defending your faith? What is your faith? Why do you believe in what you believe? We started it a couple of years ago. We had five kids. Last year we had 42, I believe. 10 got saved at the clinic. So we were like, oh man, this is huge. This is a big deal. As each player steps up to the plate, determined to improve their game, Mike knows sometimes it's more than about just their swing. I had a kid the other night He's hitting and he's rolling over to short every time. And he's usually better than that, but it wasn't a mechanical issue. I, could t I mean, his mind's going nuts. So I slowed him down, I said, what's going on? And you could see him just, you know, and he's not saying anything. And I, and I know his family's in a tough divorce right now. And I just said, listen, you know this divorce is not your fault, it's nothing to do with you. You know that, right? It's, it's not you, man. You know, and, and then the floodgates open up and it's like, well, you know, maybe I could have made it. I said, no. It's not that. Whatever happens there is separate from you. And it's gonna hurt everything you're going through. So here's an idea. Channel it into the ball, use that as your outlet, and do the swing correctly and focus on that aspect instead of something you cannot control or have anything to fix. And all of a sudden, man, it's line drive, line drive, line drive. So it's utilizing the instruction to tap into this, to tap into this, this is really what it's all about. And that kid, after he leaves the lesson, not only feels good about his baseball swing, but has a different perspective on what's going on in his family. You know, I'm just real thankful that we have this opportunity and God has allowed this to happen so that we can really be this positive example for the kids.